Hello YouTube, about ready to make some coffee with this Folgers Noir Smoky Midnight. Never tried this before. This is a very strong coffee. At least that's what I'm hoping. And also, I was out shopping. I picked up some things for review. Look at that. So yeah, we'll be having a look at that stuff real soon. Right now, let's make our coffee. So yeah. Start with our basket. Let me get my official coffee spoon scooper out of this other bucket of coffee here. All right. Pull the lid off our Soldier's Noir. Let me just scoop this over and give myself a little more room. Let me back this up. Oh yeah, that's a very dark coffee. Well, it doesn't smell overly powerful. You know? I'm only making a half a pot, so... Alright. Now we wait. Well, we won't wait long because uh, in this household, all we use is bun, which means there's none of that <laughs> three drops at a time because uh, the bun holds a reservoir of hot water already. So when you put the new water in, it just forces the hot water back up through the reservoir and through the basket and down to your pot. So you're getting coffee coming out of there about 200 degrees. So it's pretty quick. As you can see, it's flowing down. Pretty fast. About a minute for a half pot of coffee, two minutes for a full pot. But in the meantime, I'll grab a cup. All right, about 45 seconds later, we have a half pot of coffee. I just have to take my word for it. It's about a minute. Mmm, that looks good. It doesn't seem so strong, though. I'm going to have to try. Let that sink in for a minute. It's kind of hot. So, uh, I don't feel any bite or any hideous taste. Kind of nutty, for sure. Eh, it's a little stronger than the standard Folgers. But I really don't think it's as strong as uh, Folgers Dark Silk. Which I happen to like. They say this is, uh, it says intense dark. You see that right there? Intense dark. Medium dark, intense dark. So now this one actually covers the gambit, I think. It's supposed to be very strong. 100% Arabica. Uh, I mean, it tastes really good. But it's not as strong as I thought it was going to be. Mmm. It's a good cup of coffee, but it's not punch in the face strong, you know? Make your heart go boo, 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 which is sometimes what I'm looking for, especially to start my day. But, uh, yeah, you know what? Good taste. And maybe a little gimmicky. So, out of ten, I give it a six and a half because it's such a small quantity for a larger price. You're probably paying for the label and the novelty, so, yeah. I almost says good coffee, just not very strong coffee. And uh yeah. I'll whoop out.